This video is about a book called Monastic Disciples of Swami Vivekananda written by Swami Abhijananda ji. So for those who are not yet introduced to this book, this video might help you to gain an insight into what this book contains. I'll also mention the purchase links for this book in the description. So this contains 13 biographies of disciples of Swami ji. And through them, we can see various facets of Swamiji's incidents that occurred in Swamiji's life, which is not recorded anywhere else. Although it is an old book, that is why I chose to introduce you to this book, in case if you have not come across this book. The original is in Bengali, called Swamiji's Padaprante. So those of you who know Bengali can read the original. Even the English version is uh, the translation is excellent. So we have Swami Shuddhananda, Swami Virajananda, Swami Vimalananda, Swami Swarupananda, Swami Prakashananda, Swami Bodhananda, Swami Atmananda, Swami Sadananda, Swami Kalyanananda, Swami Nischayananda, Swami Achalananda, Swami Shubhananda and Swami Paramananda. So these 13 disciples some of them were initiated by Swamiji, some of them by Holy Mother, but all of them were monastic disciples of Swami Vivekananda. And we find very interesting details, very interesting incidents in each of their lives and it's really inspiring. So I'll read out to you some of the incidents. For example, Swami Kalyanananda's life where he talks about Swamiji. His voice would get choked with emotion whenever he tried to talk about Swamiji to others. Once he said, Look, what can I say about Swamiji? What he was cannot be expressed in words. I could never look at him in the face. His eyes were simply dazzling, as if they were radiant. If my eyes ever happened to meet his, my head would immediately bow down and I would look away. It was truly a sight to see him meditate. He would become a statue carved out of stone as it were. We too meditated in the shrine and would breathe very cautiously, lest the sound of our breath disturb his meditation. Ah, what a sight! Just as you see in the photograph, one hand placed over the other. Every morning, he would sit in the shrine room and meditate for three to four hours at a stretch. Similar incidents we find in the lives of others also. For example, Swami Nischayananda. He was a soldier before he met Swamiji. There, is, there are some interesting incidents in his life too. At last, in January 1897, the news came that Swamiji had landed on Indian soil and that from Ramnad he was proceeding towards Chennai, stopping at Paramakudi, Manamadurai, Kumbakonam, etc. on the way. At each station, people gathered in large numbers and welcomed Swamiji with great enthusiasm. From Kumbakonam, Swamiji boarded a through train bound for Chennai. Raoji, that was his pre-monastic name, Swami Nischayananda's pre-monastic name. Raoji was residing at that time in a village not very far from Chennai, but learned to his great disappointment that the train carrying Swamiji to Chennai would not halt at the village station. The crowds importuned the station master to flag the train to stop, if only for a few minutes, but to no avail. But the villagers, as well as Raoji, were determined to stop the train at any cost. At last, seeing the train coming in the distance, hundreds of people fell flat upon the railway line, determined by this extreme course to stop the train. The station master was panic-stricken. But the guard of the incoming train saw the situation in time and at once ordered the train to be stopped. The people crowded round Swamiji's compartment and sent forth shouts of triumph in his honor. Similarly, there are other interesting incidents in the lives of all of these disciples.